Module 1, Lesson 19, Objective, Create and Solve Multi-Step Word Problems from Given Tape Diagrams and Equations. For Jill to get to her aunt's house, she has to travel through Turlock and Fresno. From Jill's house to Turlock is 116 kilometers. From Turlock to Fresno is 132 kilometers. If the total trip is 316 kilometers, how far from Fresno does Jill's aunt live? Let's draw a tape diagram to represent this problem. So one of the things that we know is the distance from Jill's house to the city of Turlock. So we're starting from Jill's house, we're going towards Turlock, and that distance is 116 kilometers. Next, once we're at Turlock, then we can continue from Turlock to Fresno. From Turlock to Fresno is 132 kilometers. So now, we've gone from Jill's house to, let's put a little J there, to Turlock, and then now we've also gone over to Fresno, and finally from Fresno, we continue on over to the ant's house. We don't know the distance from Fresno to Jill's aunt's house, but what we do know is that the total distance is 316, and that's why that total distance is 316. And so what we're solving for is this question mark here, that distance from Fresno to the ant's house. Let's write that out just a little. From Fresno to the ant's house. And so I need to know that distance. What's our first step? Well, let's go ahead and combine this distance here from Jill's to Turlock and from Turlock to Fresno, so we get the distance from Jill's house to Fresno. That distance from Jill's house to Fresno is 116 plus 132 kilometers, which is 248 kilometers. Then it looks like, this is our second step, we have to work with 316 and 248, where we're comparing those two distances. 316 is the total distance, and part of that that we are taking away is 248, that distance from Jill's house to Fresno. 6 minus 8 I cannot do. I can, can regroup from the tens place. That's why it's 16 minus 8, which is 8. In the hundreds place, the 3 becomes a 2, and the tens place can become 10, minus 4 is 6. So this distance from Fresno to the ant's house is 68. And that is 68 kilometers from Fresno. And that's the ant lives. And in particular, that would be Jill's ant. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and copy down this tape diagram with all these numbers here. And write a problem where it is that you could use this tape diagram. Be sure to bring that in. We'll use it within class tomorrow. You don't have to solve it. Here's another tape diagram to think of. Where we got something here, 237,205. And we're asked to think of two houses. So this one's a given here, it looks like. And then it looks like we still have that given amount of 237,205, which could be dollars. And it looks like we have another number here, 86,247. 
What is this bar then represent? What is it that it could mean? Let's think. So we have $237,205, which means this is 86,247 what? What's that key word there? Huh, that key word for that second one there is more than. So that second house could cost more. Let's continue to label and make up a problem here involving these tape diagrams. Now, now so we have a house one costs $237,205. House two costs, oh, $86,247 what? More than house one. But what we're really solving for is this M here. And when we do this here, for house one and house two, that means that we would be adding the cost of house one and of house two. Could you write out a problem based on what it is that I've stated? Pause that video while you write it out. So we have two houses and we know what the first one costs. House two costs $86,247 more than house one. And the question that needs to be asked then is this M, that variable. That would be how much do both houses cost all together? You also could have written something like, what's the total price of house one and house two? So that is a problem that we could write here that would match this tape diagram. Okay, our solution would be as follows. You would take 8,200, probably for whale one. You would add it to what you get for whale two, and whale two would be, let's see, 8,200 minus 3,500, which when we do our regroupings, would be 4,700. We could label that in there. So we have that as one of the whales. And then our other whale and our third whale then is that initial 8,200. And what would we do with that 2,000? Right, we would add it, which would be 10,200 for the third whale. So I'm showing my work, and you can check it. Again, yours might be a little bit different if you suggested that it's not three whales within kilograms. Our numbers should work out to be the same, though. Zero, zero. Two plus two plus seven is 11. One, regroup a one. Eight plus four is 12. Plus one is 13. Three, regroup a one. And one plus one is two. So what we have there is 23,100, 23,100 kilograms is the combined weight of all three whales, where we added together about 8,000, about 5,000, which is 13,000, and about 10,000, which would be 23,000. So our answer is reasonable. Do remember to bring your work in and we'll take a look at it a little bit more. Where it is that you are coming up with word problems that can match a tape diagram.